Hey, what's up guys? This is William from Property Buddy. So today we would like to do our very first episode of Asking Prop Buddy. So we have received a number of questions, but today we would like to focus on one topic. One of our, our audience, our listeners, uh, asked us about, should I reduce my tenant's rental? Should I reduce my tenant rental? And why and how much would it be? So he asked us on WhatsApp, so his rental was uh, 3000 installment was 2009 30 years loan so if you were to give a rent a rental discounts to the tenant how much would be recommend and then he also mentioned that uh, my rental should be able to cover the interest at least la right the interest is still need to pay right after the moratorium because overall when you when you delay paying right your you are actually paying a higher amount in total run. Then he also said that I'm willing to give some discount, but just feel that if you want to increase back to the original rental, if everything goes back to normal, which we think is makes sense. So what we actually re replied to him is actually depend on how well your tenant, how prompt your tenant pay you. We have tenant that pay on time, on time for the past 12 to 4, uh, 24 months. So if you have this kind of good tenant, right, you really don't mind to give them some discounts. The discounts depending on your good view and your negotiation with your tenant. And of course, depending on what your tenant is currently going through. They might be, they might be uh, probably have limited income due to pay cut. They might be not be able to do business. That means they have limited income or maybe zero income. So you have got to understand what are their situation and maybe try to help and accommodate however to help out their cash flow. There are a few options that you can consider as well, which we can share it over. Of course, landlord, they got loan moratorium that help up on better cash flow. So you your concern was to Pay more if your loan, if you will defer your loan. And of course, you're also concerned that the unit will have zero income if there is no tenant. On the other part, tenant is actually experiencing a lower income or maybe zero income. They are currently maybe experiencing unpaid leave travel back. In fact, this is a real scenario because we have tenants from China who has been renting with us about one year to two years. And they went back to China for, for Chinese New Year. And then subsequently, they couldn't travel back to Malaysia to work because everywhere has been locked down by then. And of course, they might be in this industry which are severely in, impacted, includes the direct ones, airlines, tourism, F&B, hotels. You have been seeing hotels are closing down. And a lot of F&B is now struggling because of few things suppliers of course the supply is one one of the factor but there is no business there's no dine in there's no walk in customer for any kind of fmb businesses whether it's cafe whether it's kopi tiam or whether it is fine dining or maybe more luxurious services there is zero customer they can operate but only for deliveries or takeaway so you got to understand what are the situation that they are facing currently so five things you can do. The first one, of course, you can give them a rental discount depending on your negotiation and how much you can help them. Of course, you have a capacity or a capability to help them. We recommend you to give something like 20 to 50%. It could be depend on your goodwill or you can depend on your capability and also considering the situation that the tenant currently is facing. Then the next one would be you can also use the concept of loan moratorium. You discount the rental, but you negotiate for a longer tenure. Now you discount for them maybe 20 to 50%, but they have to sign a longer tenure. So why, why does this so? Because this way, you can also know that your tenancy is longer. You know that there's a certainty in terms of the vacancy because your unit is tenanted. Now. Then the third one, of course, is based on their past, good past records whether you track it on our app, because currently we are our app, our new app, rental solution app, tracks all the payment records of our tenant. So if the tenant has a very good record, we will actually grade them. So with a good scoring, they can actually entitle certain things. 
for example, now they can entitle discounts law for their good pass record, or if they have good pass record, they can also entitle that normally the last two months, right, you cannot offset using a deposit. Ma. But if your payment is good, your scoring entitles you to do use your deposit to offset your last two months payment. Or another one, if, when you want to start a new tenancy, yeah, when your record is with, with us, we actually can negotiate the deposit that you need to pay, put with us or the, ten, the landlord. So for example, your scoring can be under A, B or C. Ma. So A is the best. If you have A, you don't even need to pay full two months deposit plus the half in a month. So it is, it is uh, something like a flexible or convenience or something that reward the good pay master. And then of course, the fourth thing is that during this period, if the tenant is really got no income, probably you can also consider giving them free rental during, during this period, depending how long they got to experience this downtime or tough time. Then of course, the fifth one. The fifth one is depending on your on your location of the unit. There are some of the units that our clients uh, uh, engages to manage, right? They actually ran it out to front, frontliners. They ran it out to doctors who work in hospital Sungai Pulo. They ran it out for doctors who work in hospital Kuala Lumpur because their property is just like five minutes or less than 10 minutes away. And they actually needed that place. They ran it out for free. Most important thing, they only pay the utilities and also take care of the items, don't spoil the item. So this is the five things that we re recommend you to do. Then of course, our take is, it depends on payment records as well. If you want to give discounts, you want to give a free rental or you want to extend the tenure, right? It always depends on the payment records, which we call tenant secrets. So this tenant secrets is available in our in our system. So if we know that these tenants has been paying that well, right, we wouldn't want to miss them. We wouldn't, wouldn't want to actually, we, we wouldn't want to lose these good tenants. Of course, the second thing is due to unprecedented event, uh, it's, it's also a give and take, like whether it's discount or delay payments or maybe negotiable tenure. Maybe this month, they, they are really tight cash flow. They can't even pay you if you give them discounts, right? So if you if discount doesn't work and you wanted to help, maybe ask them to pay you two months later. At least they are, when their cash flow are not so tight, they pay you, they start paying you this maybe the same rental or maybe a discount rental depending on your negotiation with your tenant. Then of course the third thing, having a good tenant, of course, is something better because it will have lower turnover, first thing, lower vacancy. Because when you have lower turnover and lower vacancy, that means your cash flow is better. Imagine now, uh, if you rent it out, if you rent it out 12 months over the year, compared to you rent it up like nine months or 10 months, you lose two months of uh, cost. That cost is opportunity cost or even vacancy cost. Then the fourth thing, it depends on the landlord capability or capacity. If you, are, you have the ability to help, whatever it is, like you can help in any form. You can provide food, you can provide shelter, you can accommodate depending on what are the what are the situation that the tenant is currently facing? You can dis discuss with your tenant and see what is really happening with them. Maybe their business is got impacted. They are running f &B. Currently, they don't even have much business. Maybe they, from 100% revenue now, they are only left with like 10% a month. They can barely sustain and they need to pay rental. They need to pay their staff. So this affects everyone. So in terms of um, our rental solution and our property management as well, we are trying to accommodate. Wherever we have any vacancy, we will try to propose to the landlord as well to see whether we can um, accommodate some, some discounts, some rebates, um, negotiable tenure, and even like a few of our clients, they actually propose us to rent it out to frontliners for free. So if it's this, this is something you are capable of doing that is a little help that you can extend to the needed parties or to the essential services especially the doctors and the nurses this is something recommended for you to do so then of course you can say oh, my cash flow is also tight how can i help with you if i don't have the money if i don't have the resources okay um a little bit more to share with you whether you want to have 
if you don't know how to use uh, financial tools, uh, then here we would like to share you a little bit more, whether you want to give a, an, an excuse or just need to be a little bit more creative. First one, you already have moratorium uh, to improve or help you to sustain, not to improve, uh, make, it won't make you rich, but help you to sustain your for six months but the tenant doesn't have that moratorium from you, ma, so it's, bad. it's also negotiable and recommended to consider whether we can work out something for the tenant. Of course, second thing, if you want to improve in terms of your cash flow, you have, you have credit card outstanding and you are pretty tight for the upcoming like one to three months. If you have two cards and above, you can consider balance transfer from one card, card A transfer to card B because when you transfer, right, the bank that acquired the debt they will definitely give you a better rate compared to the initial one. Initial will charge you 3% a month or 18% a year. Ma. So when you transfer, you can negotiate for the better rate and longer tenure law so that you can actually help out in terms of to free up your cash flow. Then if you do not have two cuts, go and apply for it. Law. Go and apply for something which uh, you, can, you can get. Law. If you really cannot get the second cut, then there's still one more choice you can convert your outstanding into easy payment plan. So before, before 1st of April, you can still get an automatic transfer into, a, into the uh, automatic balance transfer due to the moratorium announced by Mike Negara. So if you only have one cast now you, and you think that you may not want to use up all the money to pay your card, then you can convert it. You can convert it into an easy payment plan. Then the third one, if you are a property owner, you want to you have you have more expensive debt like personal loan you have a credit card personal loan is about 8, 11 to 12 percent credit card is about 18 percent so you have to find ways to reduce your your interest portion i mean which we say convert the expensive debt into cheaper debt which is we are talking about this point so how to convert your property you have been paying for all these years there should be some amount that you already paid off. So if you really need money to turn around, refi it, no? refi it, cash out, pay off all the expensive or high, higher cost debt, uh, higher cost debt, credit card or personal loan, using the cheaper debt, take on the opportunity, tap on the opportunity of now the lower rates because now is the most you can, the best rate uh, you can get is about 3.65. So it differs a lot, 3.65, against 11%, against 18%. So of course, the second thing, if you don't have much credit card or personal loan, then you can consider the second point whereby you can also cash out and be ready for opportunities. Whether you use it or not, you cash out, you can still pay back later ma, if you don't really need it. But if you currently on hand, you don't have much cash, ah, when you see opportunity, whether it's stocks, whether it's uh, um, auction properties that sell very much below market value, you cannot take on an opportunity because you don't have cash on hand. When you go for auction, you need to pay the 10% uh, in, in bank draft. Mark. So if you don't have the money, how you how you create the bank, bank draft? Then of course, the third thing, if you want to buy property, it doesn't mean that you always have to come up with a lot of core cash. You need to find ways how do you buy property with very low upfront low deposit or zero deposit or even for third properties, people a lot saying, I can only buy at 70%, so I need to pay 20 to 30% upfront deposit or down payment. Find ways, uh, how do I actually overcome the 70% margin of financing? There are ways you have to find out. Then if you are not a property owner, uh, then this is also extra bonus. Uh, if you are not a property owner, if you are listening, listening, then you can also think of debt consolidating all your debt, personal loan or credit card. If you are really expensive debt, uh, you, you really think that it possibly you cannot pay it off already. Your 18% is damn a lot. Imagine if you have an outstanding of 100,000. Every month you, are, you have to pay 5%, 5% is 5,000. Maybe you are earning around 10K only earning around 10k if you pay 5000 you have to pay your house maybe your house 2005 how 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 uh, you wouldn't be enough to actually cover everything even your expenses then the next month you swipe again next month you swipe again so you never ever pay off your debt then the last one of course if you have 
if you don't have this uh, this uh, debt issues uh, at least at this time build up your cash reserves uh, whether whether you have your own savings is the best if you don't have, don't have at least use this kind of creative way like it's, it's a legal way man. after all it's a legal way you just play around with this financial uh, convenience or tools or whatever you call it or instruments to sustain first you can sustain to catch your breath second thing like we say in this here you don't need a lot of money to create money you only need to be creative we just want to end the, uh, the sharing today with this last slide now is a tough time that we all got affected but we are still trying to offer a little help whatever help it could be we could still afford to give we try to give all right thank you so much all right thank all right thank you so much if you have any more other questions right you can actually <clears throat> facebook message facebook message us or you can dm us in instagram our facebook page is property buddy instagram also property buddy if you want to email us just email to us ask.propbuddy at gmail.com any question also can about rental solution about how to choose property uh how should i reduce rental would property price drop and so on and so on okay thank you so much um see you in the next sharing ciao bye bye